in today's machine learning class we will see the another important topic from first unit that is exploring structure of data. Uh, already we know there are two types of data, first one is numerical data and second one is categorical data. When come to exploration we need to explore both the numerical data as well as categorical data. So before that we require data, is not it? So for that uh, let us try to download the auto MPG data set from UCA machine learning repository. How uh, we will do those things let us see in today's class. As I already told you there are two basic types of data first one is numerical and second one is categorical that is the attribute of data are either numerical or categorical so based on the value right hence exploring the numerical data is absolutely different from exploring categorical data right uh, numerical data means for example marks marks are numerical data that is marks of particular student is a numerical data but when come to categorical it is grade grade points right and age is numerical data gender is categorical data gender is categorical data okay hence the exploring numerical data is absolutely different from exploring categorical data right data set all the data set should have its own data dictionary and the data dictionary is used for reference purpose right here uh, the data dictionary contains the metadata repository metadata means the information about the data isn't it so the repository of all information which related to structure of each data element structure of each data element in that data set okay hence the data dictionary will give the detailed information on each of the attribute each of the attribute that is the description of the attribute as well as the data type and other relevant information okay that means all the information related to attribute as well as data are available in data dictionary suppose if the data dictionary is not available then we can go for standard library functions which are available uh, for machine learning tools ok such uh, standard library function is uh, the UCI machine learning repository so from that repository we try to download auto mpg data set ok so in our textbook all the examples are used only for this auto mpg data set let us uh, learn how to download this auto mpg data set from uci repository for that you just type uci repository in the google chrome and select this data set then you can get this particular web page that is the uci machine learning repository it contains 622 data set ok you can scroll down and you can see the different data set which are available for our uh, machine learning projects right and you just uh, uh, here type auto mpg auto mpg you just type here and now you can get uh, the auto mpg data set ok and you can see the information about uh, auto mpg data set the data set characteristics multivariant attribute characteristics categorical data as well as real data are there and associated task are regression right and number of instances number of instances means it contains 398 records and number of attributes 8 8 attributes are there and missing values yes missing values is also there and area that is not provided and date donated 7-7-1993 and number of web hits this much numbers downloaded this particular uh, auto set right. So these are the information about this uh, auto mpg data set. You just scroll down that page then you can get the attribute information ok. So uh, the attributes are mpg, mpg is continuous data type and cylinders multi value discrete value and displacement that is also continuous, horsepower continuous, weight continuous, acceleration continuous data and year that is model year 
multivalued discrete and origin multivalued discrete car name string that is unique for each instance right so these are the uh, information about the attributes of that data set so from those attributes we can understand that mpg cylinders displacement horsepower weight acceleration model year and origin are numerical data and cylinders model year origin these are discrete isn't it and that is only finite number of values are there and uh, the mpg displacement horsepower weight acceleration which are real values okay so after uh, getting this auto mpg data set we can display the data right so out of 398 records here we give a very few lines of data so from here we can easily understand that is the attribute and the corresponding values for that attribute okay mpg cylinder see cylinder we are having 8 to 4 and 6 and displacement and horsepower these are horsepower weight acceleration model year origin and car name right so uh, while displaying this data set we can understand what type of data are given to the corresponding attributes right from the data set we can understand that attributes are continuous in nature and the car name which is used as the index index means only one car name per record okay that means this is a type of categorical and uh, it may be a nominal also and uh, this auto mpg data set we are downloading for uh, prediction of fuel consumption of a car in miles per gallon miles per gallon that is mpg so mpg is our target attribute and with this understanding of data set attributes we have to start exploring the numerical data as well as categorical data separately we try to understand how to that is which are the numerical data which are the categorical data and after that only we can explore the numerical data and the categorical data so with this auto mpg data set we try to understand which are numerical data which are categorical data and exploring numerical data and plotting and exploring numerical data that is plotting means visualizing the numerical data right for visualization uh, there are two types first one is box plot and second one is histogram so by using these things we can easily understand how the data is distributed in the data set right after that we will see uh, the exploring categorical data and exploring relationship between the variables that is attributes all these topics we will see in our forthcoming classes.